you can do many things in your world because I think you have an immense capacity of mind to do orthopedics and everything along with it. These are the six of us who have traveled a lot of world, Kulkarni, Babulkar and me with our spouses. These six crazy people went somewhere which most people didn't imagine. I'm sorry I'll be talking about me because subject demands me to do that. I cannot talk about some fictitious character of novel and say what I feel I want to convey once I accepted to talk on this, that you got to plan your life to be whatever you want to be. Here it is. Life of most orthopedic surgeon is work, more work and more work. And they take pride in working till two o'clock. We take pride in when they are working at 12 midnight. My friend ABC and XYZ are at their best at 3 a.m. when they are winding up their work. And I know I've spoken to some of them at that time because by mistake they phoned me up at 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. <laughs> that is the time I am about to get up and read orthopedic and esoteric non-orthopedic stuff and prepare to go for my golf lovely walk in a park or a swim. These are the, every book of this I have been through. These are some, uh, some exotic books. This Outside by Colin Wilson, uh, Outsider by Albert Camus, in praise of idleness. This is the one which is really makes you idle if you were to achieve something. And these are the ones which are At Last Shrugged and Fountainhead by Anne Rand. I think those who have read it, they know they are the real exotic stuff. Let me make it clear. They, my friends are not unhappy or they are not wrong who work till 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. All I say is I am different than them. They may be saying this crazy Tanna gets up at 4 o'clock and wastes his 3 hours time playing golf. I feel they are justified. There is nothing wrong in that. So whichever group you belong, it is okay. Ham to I say hi. I say jiyenge. From childhood, I played in our gully lane, Kodi, Lakoti, Khokha, Bagminton, Langari, Hutu, to everything whatever was, was being played in my lane. And I wasted a lot of time playing cricket. I actually competed with engineer for a very short time. He just overtook it and he took away, but we were the two competitors at that time. My brothers who didn't do it, my father got angry on them because why are you not playing? So this is how I think I started doing this only because my father used to tell me all this. Later on, my father introduced me to the chess when I was eight years old. I played chess for my college and got bonus marks on which I became orthopedic surgeons. This is the truth. I got two marks for representing college in chess. And I beat my competitor by one mark. Otherwise, I wouldn't have become orthopedic surgeon. So this I feel chess did this to me. What chess did to me, first it got me a job in orthopedics and most important, teased mind to analyze every move of a bishop and a rook that created hobby of analysis which can create havoc in your life. If you are analyzing everything, it can really be create a havoc and can tear you apart everything in orthopedics. Then my teacher introduced me to bridge and game in today which I am still addicted to. Those who know, those who have played bridge and chess know it churned your mind and makes you restless when you made a blunder in last night's game. But also it makes you ready for the next game without thinking about it. But also forms a habit that was last in the game. It's over. It's like in a last surgery, you goofed it up. You are doing a next surgery. You will, without, without the impression of the last surgery, you will do the next surgery equally well. So all these activities are along with orthopedics. That gives you an age and punch in orthopedics. Any mind development is never wasted. But if you develop only orthopedic practice, fun of orthopedic will be missing. Orthopedic is a fun, you enjoy it. Happier are people whose hobby is their profession. Thoda thoda orthopedic bhi kiya. Thoda thoda ye chopdi bhi likha. Crazy to travel, teach. And many people will say, usme kya bada meer maar liya. This is my, one of my close friends, you know Dr. Kulkadi. There is only one success to be able to spend your life in your own way. 
थोड़ा खेल भी लिया दीज आर माई स्टूडेंट्स हियर इज राजेश हु इज हेयर दिस इज संजय देसाई दिस इज मी एंड दिस इज दिलीप नाटकनी ऑल ऑफ दुपोर्ट्स माई स्टूडेंट्स एंड नाउ टूडे माई क्लोज फ्रेंड्स एंड वी कम्पीट फॉर ट्वेंटी रुपीज एंड थर्टी रुपीज एंजॉय द फैमिली वेकेशन विद ऑल ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड दिस आर माई माई फैमिली समवेयर इन द वर्ल्ड आई डोंट रिमेंबर वेयर एंजॉय विद दैम इन दिस पॉन्ड दिज आर ऑल माई फैमिली एंड ग्रांड चिल्ड्रन एंड what what people dream i'll make lots of money and then go to see the world one cannot go for a six months to trip and see the world it will be boring and not exhilarating you have to see the world bit by bit to enjoy and that can be done only along with orthopedics because orthopedics is also enjoyable i have done this scuba for many times and most enjoyable things do it now not later we six of us i showed you in the first time and now we are only four of us are traveling last two trips only four of us did because of the health reasons the other two wives couldn't come so don't postpone it your health till the time it is there you can do it this exotic vacation this is antarctica exotic vacation like this is arctic aurora borealis something which is unbelievable to see done all this sort of a stupid stuff this is one of the most enjoyable fall i have seen in ireland sorry not ireland iceland my very good friends the abc and xyz are very very decent men they are not running after money they enjoy excessive work and are superb in their work i also got partial opportunity and i chose my path i am not bragging it is better it is different i am happy am to bhai i say hi to me life is one time journey and life has many facets we all have tremendous brain power to experience many things we only use very small part of our brain it's like a smartphone we very very small part of a smartphone we use dr dolakya and talwarkar are already forgotten tanna lad kulkarni and babulkars will happen the same there is no immortality don't dream of that this is all along orthopedics and life after orthopedics what is after orthopedics i'll continue to enjoy that time with bimson joshi and tendulkars take a buggy and pretend to play golf and enjoy reading authors about existentialism like jo po satre colin wilson and albert camus play bridge with smaller stakes because that not earning that fresh cash money will make me miser i'll be coming to orthopedics meeting then not as a faculty which you will not invite me then but as a delegate i'll attend those meetings to learn from all of you and mainly to sleep in those meetings because that is what i have done all the time all at the pretty ladies that will be all i'll be able to do and i'll be able to do all this only because i have done all this along with orthopedics in past and at my funeral if one of you speak very high of me which you are expected to talk humko kya farak padega i would have been already waiting for apsaras in heaven with many of you once funeral is over you will hear few sounds sala badmas tha sara chalu tha and me will be forgotten i am okay you are okay thomas harris has beautifully written this that is what i live i am okay you are okay whatever way you want to live you live hum to bhai i say here yeah. that is why i am asked to talk on this right or wrong you have no right to decide i have made my choice and i made my decisions thank you very much